Hey, hey, hey everyone, Rosbowski here, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's fan fiction written by the beautifully talented Liv. She has been going crazy over the support you guys showed on the previous episode. It was amazing, and this, all the love, all the kind feedback was absolutely amazing. So if you're hyped for today's episode, then please hit that like button and show the continued support because it was just mwah. It was absolutely très bien, my beautiful bastards. Anyway, let's get straight into it. My job at Freddy's. Day one, it's me, says Freddy, looking rather sinister. Anyway, let's move on. So we've got, uh, we've got Molly here looking absolutely fantastic. It's 6 a.m. That's, a, that's awfully early to start since you're going to be ending your shift at 6 a.m. as well. Anyway, she groans as she wakes up, goes across to the fridge, begins rustling about, grabs herself some milk and cake, is it? Cake for breakfast, not bad, not bad at all. She does her hair, she goes down the stairs across a, a beautiful looking bridge. I love the way Liv has styled the main character here. She looks absolutely fantastic, those big kawaii eyes. She looks cute, it is good. Anyway, we arrive at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Freddy's looking, he's not looking very happy on the front, but either way, let's dive inside. Oh God, I hate cute things. Well. Here goes, and she pushes the door open with a creep, baby. Anyway, here we go. Oh, hello. Who's this? Is this a different character? Is this somebody else? Yes, it is. Hello, hello there. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Ask for One. No, I'm here to speak to Mr. Fitzgerald. Oh, sure. Just go to the opening across the shiny purple curtain to the end of that hallway, and it should be opening opposite of the security door. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, no problem! Let me take your coat, hon! Oh, okay. So, we've got uh, the Fazbear gang on the stage. We've got Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy looking absolutely fabulous as they play their music. Uh, Molly doesn't <laughs> look too pleased with all the music. She seems kind of a bad humbug when it comes to happy things, which is fine. Uh, no doors. What the hell? Uh, she knocks on the door. Always open! May I help you? Uh, yes, um, are you Jeremy Fitzgerald? Yes, I am. What do you need? I'm here to apply for the Night Watch. My name is Molly Schmidt. Uh, Great, you hired. Uh, really? It, I, I mean, uh, what I say is, uh, so yes, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll start tonight. Be here five for the free. For the first free meal, and don't be so formal. You're working for Freddy Fazbear, not the president. Oh, oh okay. Wow, that's uh, a, a, a first. Um, thanks. Wait. <clears throat> By management policy, I shall give you and every other new security guard a stuffed Freddy. Squeak. Um, okay, uh, I'll, thank you, um, I'll, I'll see you tonight. Look how cute that Freddy is! Look how cute he is! Oh, God, you've made a really piss poor decision, lass. Oh, oh, and then we've got Foxy here. <sighs> or gasp, no, lassie! Uh, oh, oh, and Foxy's disappeared. Before she can have a look around. She looks kind of nervous. Anyway, let's move on. So we're back home. We're back home, we're chilling out in our pad, and we've got the television on, and we've got some fantastic looking guy here who looks to be in some kind of a program to do with nature. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Yet I, today we're gonna try and capture a rare bear. That was a terrible Australian accent, but we'll carry on with it. <laughs> this bear will be found in North Australia, near the West Coast. Oh, I never did. I've never done, like, night watch work before. Eight cups of coffee should keep me awake, though. Yeah, mate. We're weighing around 200 pounds, and it's 13 feet long. And this bugger has magenta feet. <laughs> Is that what it says? <laughs> um, where are we? Cool, blimey. There she is. Ain't she a beaut? Just look at it. Um, that's a caterpillar, you jackass. Jimmy, the jungle... Blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll be after these messages. We'll be back after these messages. Uh, hey, kids. Do you like... Hey, kids. Do you like pizza and fun? 
Oh my god. Then come on over to my pizzeria and meet me, Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> we have such a huge variety of pizza that yummy for anybody's tummy. Okay, that's just sickeningly adorable. Gross. And play your games, win tickets and prizes. <laughs> and don't forget, every 15 minutes we have a little show that the whole family will love. So come on over to my pizzeria, because after all, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, it's me. Wow, those eyes. This story just got dark, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh god, I should be going. Oh, it's, it's, it's 10 to 4. We've, we're gonna be late at this rate. Jeezy crazy. Oh, hi, hon. You must be our new night guard, Molly. And Jeremy is over at the table closest to the purple curtain. Ah, there he is, looking absolutely fantastic. We can see Foxy's out of order sign in the background. He's looking swish as hell. And perhaps he's drinking some brandy to calm his nerves, because this is gonna go... Very wrong, most likely. Judging by all the fan comics I've read in the past, anyway. So, we meet again, Mr. Fitzgerald. Kill me, Jeremy! I can't stand formality. Okay, I I, I apologize, sorry. Do you want me? Now, um... Oh, no, it's the other one. Now, what would you like to eat? I'll just have a salad. No, you bloody won't have a salad. This is a fucking pizzeria, you shit. You can eat pizza. Oh, okay, then, then try gluten-free veggie pizza wheat crust. No, nope, 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 nope. Fine. Stuffed crust, then. And... Extra cheese. Okie dokie, hon. Uh, Jeremy, I'm just going to spit on your slice. Wow. Uh, you know my guilty pleasure. Nice work. Hmm. It's not that obvious. <clears throat> Attention, everybody. The show will start in, ten in, f in a few seconds, so I invite everybody to return to your tables so the show starts... Uh, the show will start uh, any minute. Tee-hee. <laughs> I don't know who was saying that. Probably Freddy Fazbear. Oh, God. Here come the earworms. And now, are you all ready for Freddy? Yay! I presume all the kids are shouting that. <laughs> Hi, kids, it's me, Freddy Fazbear. Hi, Freddy! Before the show officially starts, let's meet my new girls. Oh, so he's a pimp. <laughs> First, my guitarist, who is very... Rabbitical? It's very rabbitical. Let's welcome Bonnie. I'm ready to rock this, Freddy. Oh, damn, that's a good catchphrase. I like it. Moving on. All right, Bonnie sounds cool. <laughs> and my backup singer, who's really quite the spring chicken. Give it up for Chica. Hi, everybody. I'm Chica. Want some p p p pizza? Oh, Chica, when you are when you're not thinking about food, tee Now, let's get this show on the road. Uh, Bonnie is rocking the guitar, looking absolutely kawaii over there. Are you ready to play along while playing games or singing songs? Why don't you dance with me? And then you'll see how much fun there's had. There's a big party when you see my Chica and my Bonnie. Then you'll know it's me, and uh, Foxy is looking very depressed over there, probably because you've been left out all the time. You ever been in school and somebody's always left you out of the games? That's how poor Foxy's feeling here. I, I feel, I feel really bad for, I feel really bad for the poor guy. Freddy! Oh, everybody's clapping! Fantastic! Absolutely amazing! Brilliant work, Freddy! And your singing is absolutely ten to none. It's brilliant. Oh my god, is this over now? Everybody's clapping. No, even close. And now let's get started, shall we? Chica. Chica, what are you doing with uh, something filled with fudge? Oh, I'm making brownies. Uh, one of the four. Tee hee hee, I'm not telling. Hey, why don't you help me? It'll be girl power fun time. Oh, that sounds like fun. Just don't tell Freddy. You, you got it right! Oh no! Did you girls steal all the fudge from the party pantry? 
Uh, does that say party panty? <laughs> party pantry, I'm gonna guess. Uh, oh, why? Because I want to make some brownies just for you, Freddy. Oh, and Freddy's getting kisses all around. He really is a pimp, isn't he? What a fantastic bastard. That's gross. Okay, kids, we must rest for now. But before we go, we'll sing one more time. Hit it, buddy! And that's all there is. Now we have to go. Why do you think... What did you think of our best show? We really hate to leave, but somehow you will see how much fun we had at this jamboree. Now you've seen my bunny and my chica, and now we must say... Say see ya. Clap, 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 and uh, the curtain is shut. Thank God, that's over. So, this is my uniform. It's the only thing the company could afford. Afford? The Fazbear CEO went broke after a certain... incident. The company went bankrupt. Oh, the this is fucking more. Shit. So, this is my uniform? It's the only thing the company could afford. Afford? The first base CEO went broke after a certain incident. The company went bankrupt, is that why there are no doors? Well, there were never any doors when I was a guard. You used to be a night guard? <laughs> That's not important right now. What matters is that you are the night guard. Now, well, Molly, here's your new office. Ooh, she's looking in, she's blinking a little bit. Um, where? Oh my god, so many monitors, uh, do any of them even work? Jeez. <laughs> Molly, this is your monitor. But, 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 but this is just a tablet. Well, there, there you go. Good luck on your first night, but, but what the fuck am I even supposed to do? Oh my god, she looks so panicked. Um, that's exactly how I feel, Molly, whenever I play the, the Five Nights at Freddy's games. And here we go. My job at Freddy's Night 1. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is another chapter from this story. If you did enjoy it today, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. I know I love reading through all of these, so I hope you enjoyed listening to me doing all the silly voices and that. But either way, show your support for Liv down in the comment section below. I'm sure she's going to love watching this again. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. You are absolutely fantastic. I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards, as always, for watching. And I love... Each and every single one of you. Goodbye!